first of all, Sam, t can you just tell us what it's been like now making your debut and being part of the first team squad? Uh, it's been unreal, to be honest. The last, I'd say, six months have just been ridiculous. I was, I think last season, I started playing at 18, so to go from that to making my Premier League debut was unbelievable. And then to carry it on this season was just even better. Um, I didn't expect to be playing or starting at this time of the season, so I'm just absolutely loving it at the minute and hope it can, t uh, can continue. Playing Premier League, you had the game against was it Liverpool at the end of last season yeah. and then you've had the couple of games here. How have you found it? I mean, has it been a huge step up? It has definitely, yeah. Um, the, the speed of the game and the physicality is, is a massive step up from youth football, but it's something that if you want to make a career, you have to do. And I think I'm starting to get used to it now, especially the Bournemouth game, the first 90 minutes. I realised how you can't slow down even the last five, ten minutes of the game, you've got to keep going. So it's just been a it's been really good learning experiences so far, and hopefully I can use them in the future. What about the the players that you've come in to play alongside? How have they welcomed you? They're brilliant. They they get you in and around the squad. You feel like part of the team. I'm in the changing room now with them day in day out. So you really see what the lot as people as well, and they're generally nice people. Did it take a while to get used to that? You know, turning right into the right changing room instead of left into it the other. Did. It did. Um, it does take a while to get used to because. I'm so used to being with my lads, I've been here since seven and eight, so to step up was, it has been a challenge and it still is, but it's a challenge I'm willing to you know, try and uh, achieve and compete with, basically. And who's helped you on the field and, and do they talk to you? All of them do, to be fair. I'd say Fletcher's the main one because obviously I'm right next to him. He's, he's obviously captain, so he's got a great voice to help you, but then Jakob's brilliant as well, just behind you can help. But generally all the team are really helpful out on the pitch because you need each other. Uh, and it really gives, I mean, watching you, you saying, you know, you've, all the lads you've been with since you've been seven or eight, they see you and see what you can do. It must give them such hope as well. I'd like to think so, yeah. I st obviously, I try and see it, still see them and talk to them, but, you know, I hopefully it encourages them that they know that if, well, hopefully if I've got there, they can get there as well. Um, and it's brilliant to have young lads around me like Jonathan Leco and Kane, because it's, you know, that it's not, you're not just a, you know, one out of the book, you know, there's others you can do it and if you're good enough the gaffer will pick you. What's the gaffer like? He's really he's been really good with the young players. Um we're training with the first team all the time now and we're in and around it and if you are good enough he will trust you, which is brilliant. Is that exactly what you want from a manager? And when you first I mean I know you've um first stepped out of the hall because you grew up an Albion fan, didn't yes. you? Because there's very a lot of players don't play for their boy, boyhood clubs. Mm. What, what's it been like around the place? You know, just like your family and your mates and everything. Uh, my mates are always asking me questions about it, but it's just day in, day out for me. Like, oh, you've trained with blah, 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 and done this. But it's just normal for me now. But it's brilliant they that have the enthusiasm and I'll, I'll always enjoy speaking to them about it. Um, my family are just the same. They obviously support them. So if we lose, it, it disappoints all of us, not just me. So it's brilliant to, to be a fan of the club as well. And what I mean, you you grew up here. You you what 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 does it say about the academy and the kids that are coming through? That there's you know you mentioned three lads now that are that are coming through. The academy system is brilliant. Um, it's worked with me since I was seven and taught me a lot basically to get to where I am today. So the system in place is brilliant, and um, the coaches there have done a, a massive amount of work to get us here, and hopefully they'll get a lot more of uh, of us here in the future. But you weren't necessarily picked up. Easy. I mean, you weren't there from. They, was it late developers they picked you up? Tell me. Um, I was. W when I was younger, I used to play up, and then it got to a stage where all the lads were a lot bigger than me. And uh, I, I was struggling a lot, to be honest. And it got to about 15, 16, and 17s that I wasn't playing. I barely played any football. Um, so they were always trying to see me for the future. So I wasn't getting a lot of game time at all. I was playing down, to be honest. Um, but I just had to stick with it and trust the coaches, which it did. Thankfully, it paid off. Uh, now this weekend, Hawthorns against mm -hmm. West Ham. What are you? What are your thoughts on West Ham? Uh, they're a good team, very good team. We've got very uh, effective attacking players, so it'll be a difficult test. But um, I'm sure if we get the game plan right, that we can act, we can actually cause some problems ourselves. To be honest. And who are you perhaps looking forward to kind of coming up against and challenging yourself against? Uh, any of them, to be honest, they're all very good Premier League players, so um, all of them will be a challenge, none of them will be easy to play against. But in particular, probably, if I am playing Payet, it would be a great one to, to have a look at and uh, play against. 